What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm sure you guys can tell by the title, we got this whatnot unboxing that we're going to resell on Poshmark. And don't mind my shirt. Uh, I'm filming this as the same day I filmed my other video. So, yeah, don't judge. We got three packages. Boom, boom, boom. All from whatnot. And we're going to unbox these on camera and look at some of this vintage. That's like the only thing I've been buying lately, straight vintage. It's just all the other stuff don't make me excited, like Michael Kors and Eddie Bauer and all the bike people watching my channel right now. I'm sure you guys might not watch this or have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you don't, hit that link in my description. Check out my Poshmark and let me know you're from my YouTube. I'll give you a really good discount on a bundle or any tees you like. So, yeah, check out the links in my description. Ain't gonna waste too much time. Let's get into this video. All right, we're going to start with this first package. I hope I didn't get too much of the mess that I have in here in the video. And I don't know if you guys know what this is. I need to oxyclean it. It's Thor Racing. I got this from Whatnot as well. I just saw that it was some kind of uh, motocross uh, racing shirt. So I copped it. It was like $2. XL. That'll be on my Poshmark soon, so stay tuned. All right, we're going to start with the small package to the biggest. This feels like one T. Let's see. On the screen, stars tag, 1994 Ohio Renaissance Festival. I've been getting a lot of all-white vintage lately. Size double XL. Let me show you guys this. I hope you can see it good. It's 1994 single stitch throw this one in the oxy and the reason i use the oxy clean is if you're a reseller then you know but say like this little brown stain right there probably can't see it but the oxy clean is basically bleach it's gonna make it all white and i can tax more money for it all right let's get this next one and i know this is hella weird to probably the bike people but well, not weird. It's just how I make money. I don't have a normal job like everybody else, but it's super normal to me. I only I started doing this after I came from LA the first. This is some nice packaging. But yeah, I started reselling me and my lady after I came back from LA the first time. Because before I ever went to California, you know, I just had a uh, normal job, a nursing home, stuff like that. And yeah, I just saw how people was living in California and the bike shit was so fun and Sir Onster, Dylan. And it just changed my whole perspective of everything. And I, I just I just couldn't go back to a normal job again. Then I got the tattoo on my face. Shout out Lil Peep. I got the crybaby. This says I survived... Olympic Nick, Olympic Nick, Zaya. I think it's like a frat, something with the frat. And it's 1997. This one does have a hole at the top and some distressing, but I honestly don't mind anything. You know, it's old, 1997. I wasn't even born yet. I was born in 98. This one's on the Anita tag, size XL, single stitch, 1993. I definitely wasn't born. This is an ugly shirt to me, but it's vintage, and I know somebody's going to like it. In the back says Animal House. LA City Sports Recreation Parks. Softball Champ. It's on the Anita tag. If you know, you know. Size XL. Yeah, that's the second little bundle. Let's get this third one. I know this one's more than one shirt because it's the biggest one. I try to only buy bundles off or whatnot unless the seller is just boring or they're not running anything new. I'm trying to get a little bit more clout and then I'm going to start going live on whatnot. $1 starts. Yeah. You might see some of this stuff on whatnot. This is the Tommy Hill figure vintage XL. I don't really buy Tommy anymore, but eh, this was one dollar. So I told him to throw it in the bundle. 
And usually they have a tag on them with the date and the material, but this one doesn't have one. But, you know, you know Tommy Hilfiger is vintage. Got the big logo, the huge logo, and the lion crest on the front. It's like the old logo. I think it was made in like the 80s, something like that. Little lion crest logo. Put a sticker on there. Yeah, this one's cool though. A size if you like Tommy Hilfiger. That's a size XL for you guys. But this is how I'm able to afford the Sauron though. Straight clothes. And this one is absolute nursing. This won't hurt a bit. On a wild oats tag. And this one is 1994. So it should be single stitch. Of course. 1994. And all of these got to get an oxy bath. Let's read this. Absolute nursing. This won't hurt a bit. These often overlooked heroes go above and beyond the call of duty to ensure the safety and well-being of all patients. Eh, too much to read. But a little nurse is going to like this. Size large. Single stitch. And I got some other shirts I already had that I need to oxy. I'm going to show you guys after I'm done showing you these. This one is a size medium. Nike. Yeah, I think this is like the Y2K Nike. Damn, this is fire. This is fire. Nike hit right there with the, well, it's like a patch. In the back, Nike Town. This one's too fire. It does have some distressing little hole right there hole right there but it is y2k year 2000 if you don't know damn this one's clean size medium i'm not even about to squeeze my arms in there all right this is the last one out of the bags i think this is a women's cherokee cherokee clothes i have no idea 100 percent cotton it's one size so it's like one size fits all 1994. Yeah, I'm going to put this one in the women's category for sure. Look like another nurse type of shirt. Has the two front pockets down here. One size, so I have to do the measurements of this one and see the actual size because it's super long. Single stitch. And like Paul says, fishes get you hella big. I can't even say it because my girl's going to watch this video. Super cool. You guys know fishes get you hella biatches. 1994, Cherokee Beach. No idea where that's at. And we got seven total in that bundle. This seven was probably like... No, this was probably like 30 to $40. Maybe like close to 50 for these seven. And if I can oxy them and get them super white. Like this 1994, this can go for Ohio Renaissance... I, and I make my own comps. I don't search people's comps. I don't care about them. Some items. But I price my items on the work I have to put into it. Like I have to oxy this one and put time into it. So yeah, I'm going to definitely tax on it. It's going to be like maybe 40, 50, something like that. So I, I can sell like two items, maybe one, and get all of my money back and profit maybe. And the other shirts I had, I showed you guys the store racing. Uh, let's see. This vintage 1996 Atlanta Olympics. It's a green polo. It has a couple stains, but I'm going to oxy those out. 1996 embroidered on the front. This one is like the 80s. 1989. This one is a size medium, single stitch. 1989 on this one. It looks so simple. And this one, I fought the lawn and the lawnmower one. This one's like 90s, single stitch on a, it has a weird tag, but 50 it could be 80s because it's 50-50 cotton and polyester, but it doesn't feel like 80s. Ah, uh, this, this might be 80s. And I can see through it. 80s stuff is super thin. And the 90s, 
He's super thick. Like, let's see. This one is 90s. 1994 Ohio. Super thick. This one has no date. And it's thin. Single stitch. So it could be 80s. I fought the lawnmower and the lawnmower one. No date. I'm going to look more into that one. And you guys have seen me wear this one already in one video. I just have to oxy it again because I put two stains on it. But now it's back all white crispy again. 1994. Single stitch. But yeah, that's everything out the bundle right there. So I'm about to oxy some of these. And yeah, I'm going to just take you guys along with me for the process. And this is some stuff I forgot I even had to show you guys. This is Tampa Bay hat. And this dude shipped this hat in a box. But he like stuffed it. No packing paper with two t-shirts. So now look at the shape of the hat. Like what the hell? When you ship hats, you got to put it in a box. Packing paper or something by itself. Or, you know, you got to keep the shape of the hat. At least make it like this. Stuff it in the back. Keep it up. He, f he messed that up. Another one. It's this 2002 Outback Bowl. Ohio State versus South Carolina. Tampa Bay 2000. Yeah, some shit. Let me just show you guys the back. 2002 Ohio Outback Bowl size double XL and I have no idea who this is but one of you guys might know winter lane tag size XL I've never seen it before Colin Ray <laughs> 1997 direct hits 1990s it should be single yeah single stitch Boom. Yeah, that's a lot of items that, well, this one needs to be oxyed, of course, but the black stuff is good. Some of it. And I wasn't going to oxy everything today because I do the colors by themselves because it's kind of like a bleach. So I flip everything inside out, put it in its own pile, and oxy it by itself. And I hand wash all my vintage. I just don't trust the washer with all of this, so hand wash all the vintage but all the colors put them in their own pile washed it i just got to figure out which bag it goes in i have like eight bags and then these are 27 gallon bags i bought from amazon and they're all stuffed to the brim i forgot how many items i have i think i have like 600 active on poshmark men's women but now i'm focusing on straight vintage yeah, I forgot which bag this goes in. I got to check my Poshmark and see. And I still got to get a container or something. So what I do for now is just put a bag in a box, fill it with water, and yeah, just oxy it. The freeway. But yeah, first I'm going to do the whites. I need to let these soak. I did this one for like an hour, but it still has these yellow stains. Make you soak it for one to six hours. So yeah, soak this one a little more. Jerseys, I'm so scared to oxy the jerseys because I did one soccer jersey, but the graphic was different than this. And it literally peeled the whole graphic off. Well, we're about to hit the bathroom. And well, no, I'm just gonna fill up this box for water and I'm gonna see you guys when I get back in the room. All right, this box is full and I hope the bag works, but got these six T's, about to stuff them in here. Let's go. I flip them inside out too. I don't know why. I just feel like it's gonna protect it or something. I'm gonna put the jersey or the hat in here because they like different materials. So I'm gonna do those separately so I can watch them. But I did a couple of these shirts and stains didn't come out, like barely. I only did it for an hour. So I'm going to do these for maybe three, four hours maybe. And yeah, when this is done, this water is going to be so dirty looking. Let's 
much in there. Yeah. All right, I had to get this on camera, even though I'm panicking. The box buckled. It's about to break. So, fuck, a redo. All right, we're finally done washing. I didn't film everything because it was so hot and it was too much. But this one has some stains down here at the bottom and they're gone now. No stains at all. This other one, let's see. Absolute nursing. Sorry about the light in here too, bad lighting. 1994. Got this one. This one, this is the 80s one. I survived 1997 and another 1994. This one's cool. 94. Alright, it's the next day and I just did another video of everything and I'm about to go through these items I washed. They feel kind of dry but what I do is I like to iron them just to get all the wrinkles out and to get them dry. So that's what we're about to do. Well, I'm not gonna iron the shirt to dry. This is gonna take too long. But I got one order in M7 that I need to get. So yeah, you guys are about to see the struggle real quick. Now what I do, just put it on the hanger, spray it a little bit. I got this fabric refresher. And I just use this, boom, in there. The front one time. And that's it, and we throw it in the package. All right, got that part done. Now we gotta get our label. I have to save the pictures to my to my files. What's that? Sexy battery. And now I just go to the app. File printing files. Boom. Let me view it one time. Print. Sure, and print. And just stick this on there. I ain't gonna show you, I ain't gonna show you guys me putting it on there so you can see my boy address, but he's in Los Angeles. Shout out to Jacob. All right, that's gonna be the end of this video, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell for future videos. I didn't mean to, well, I didn't try to end the video early. It's just I got way too much to do. I gotta iron, oxy clean more stuff, clean the room. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure you guys subscribe for the giveaway. I'm choosing two subscribers at 250 subs. All you gotta do is subscribe. And we're about to be.